Which shoe is better to hoop in? The Jordan Zoom Separate or the Why Not 5? Today we're putting these two new Jordan basketball shoes head to head to see how they compare. But really quick, if this is your first time checking us out, feel free to drop a follow or subscribe wherever you're watching and give this video a like. We would greatly appreciate that. So starting off with the box and the price, I mean, the Jordan Zoom Separate is going to get a pretty basic black box that you see pretty much any Jordan 1 mid or low come in. But as for the Why Not 5s, these actually get a really sick box with like a sky theme and kind of like a Jumpman logo built into one of the clouds. So, I mean, this is a special collab on this shoe. So I'd imagine most other boxes are probably going to get this look. It'll probably be, you know, a little bit more simplified. But as for the pricing, the Jordan Zoom Separate is going to retail for $110, making them definitely on the more affordable side for a basketball shoe option. But this year's Why Not 5 is only going to retail for $130, which is similar to last year's model. But I mean, this pair I have here is retailing for $150. But like I said, that's going to be due to the whole collab part that I'm about to get into. So I mean, definitely good pricing options here as far as basketball shoes. So checking out the appearance for these shoes and starting off with the colorways, today we're looking at the Jordan Zoom Separate Black Multicolored versus the Jordan Why Not 5 Inner City. So for the Why Not 5s, this is actually a pretty sweet colorway because it's a collab with Russell Westbrook's fashion brand, Honor the Gift. So you will see some of that branding show up on the box and it's also gonna be on the back of the shoe, kind of around the heel for these. So, you know, I did think that was pretty cool. And this whole shoe is kind of designed to have like a rugged utility look, similar to like a trail running shoe. The tread pattern on these actually kind of points to that too. Then the color scheme itself is to celebrate Russ's LA roots. And I think that the deconstructed look on this like tongue and kind of around that sock liner just give this shoe a really sick look i don't really expect all the other why not fives to get that kind of deconstructed setup but you know now switching it over to check out the jordan zoom separate this is going to be more of a simple design but something really cool about this jordan zoom separate shoe is that it's actually inspired by luka Doncic's patented step back jump shot move that is just widely known to use in the nba i honestly think he deserves his own shoe line by now but until that happens I guess this model is kind of what we have to work with. But for the appearance on these, I mean, this colorway is just going to get a black and white combo for the upper, which isn't a bad look. You're also going to get some Jordan brand performance text that's going to show up on the inside of that upper. And then it's going to be paired with some like Nike Air text that's going to be built into the midsole just around the back heel for this shoe. And then the multicolor outsole on these is going to be kind of where, you know, the colorway name comes from for the Jordan Zoom separate multicolored. But I mean, it's going to be a little bit of a similar look to the Jordan Zion one noah that was designed by zion's younger brother actually that's kind of what this outsole is going to remind me of a little bit so i mean for 110 dollars i mean jordan brand didn't really go out of their way to add anything like special to the look on these but i still don't think it's a bad idea it's just a bad look in general so now let's go ahead and see how both of these shoes hold up on the for the materials and the support, you have a few different types of textiles to make up the upper for the Jordan Zoom separate model. The white around the toe box is actually pretty soft, like it's sort of like a fabric feel almost. And you know, the upper, most of it is going to be pretty thin, which makes me wonder a little bit about how these are going to hold up, like just for durability. But for ventilation, these are gonna allow your foot to breathe really easily, which is nice. Then for support, I mean, around your heel is a little bit more of a firm feel, which gives you like, you know, some good ankle security. The Jordan Zoom separate shoe is also going to have a tongue that's like built into the like a supportive wing along the midsole there inside the shoe so i mean the upper is pretty thin but not to the point that it moves around and you're also going to have like a little bit of an outrigger that just kind of extends off from like the forefoot of that shoe that's just going to give you a wider base so that's just going to be another thing to like but now switching it over to the why not fives like i said this is designed to kind of look like a trail running shoe so there are some extra pieces that went into creating these such as like a translucent material that was used on the upper to help keep this shoe lightweight and then like i was saying earlier too i mean i really do love the unfinished look for like that sock liner and like the tongue even though it probably won't help with the durability all that much if like that part of the shoe is like continuously getting stepped on but as for the support i mean the why not fives are definitely solid they have an external heel counter on the back of the shoe to kind of help keep your foot secure and there's also going to be a midfoot band that the laces kind of feed through just to help keep your foot in place so i mean whenever it comes to russ's shoe line Support's always got you covered there. I mean, both of these shoes do a pretty solid job, but both of these shoes are also going to be pretty light to move around in. I mean, the Jordan Zoom Separate's only gonna weigh 436 grams for a size 10 and a half, which, you know, definitely isn't bad. And the Why Not 5s are even lighter at only 392 grams for the same size. So, I mean, playing in both of these shoes is really nice because just how light they feel to move. 
So now getting into more of the materials and the performance side and starting off with the cushioning, the Join Zoom Separate has a Zoom Air unit positioned under the forefoot. And you can actually see it marked out on that midsole where it has that text saying air. And that's where a lot of the softness is going to come from on the shoe. I mean, from what I've felt, it's definitely good. It didn't really blow me away, but it is still gonna give you a good on-court feel whenever you're landing on like those jumps in general. And for $110, like I just wasn't really sure what I was gonna get, but I was actually pretty surprised in a good way. But now switching it over to the Why Not 5s, these are gonna get a large volume zoom air unit kind of in the forefoot as well. And it does play pretty nice. Like not a lot of breaking time is gonna be required for this shoe. It's pretty soft from the start. And I mean, cushioning, it's never really an issue for Russ's line anyways. I do think these play a little bit softer than the Why Not 4s, even if not by much they probably got a little bit on the jordan zoom separate as well so i mean both shoes though do a good job for this cushioning category to finish off with traction the jordan zoom separate has sort of like a unique traction pattern the inside oval on there actually sticks out from the design a little bit but those arrows handle most of like your side to side coverage and then the rest of the pattern is going to account for most of like your front to back movements but you can actually see how those lines are on there just kind of set up to handle like different cuts specifically but the traction on these actually turned out to be really solid like they just had a lot more grip than i was expecting and they didn't have me sliding on any of my movements, so that was definitely nice. But now looking at the Why Not 5s, I mean, this hasn't really been a bright spot in Russ's line for the last few years now, and I guess they kind of do it to themselves with the funky traction pattern that they put on this Why Not 5. Like, there just isn't really a flow to the entire design, and they don't give you a whole lot of stickiness on the court, so that is going to be unfortunate. But, you know, maybe they are a little bit stickier or just a little bit better gripped than last year's 4 model, but still not by much. But to finish off with sizing, I did go true to size on both of these models, and that worked out perfect. They are going to run regularly wide, and the length was good too. So for the final ratings, I think both of these shoes are pretty nice, but the Jordan Zoom Separate is a little bit more of just a basic model. The Why Not 5s gives you a little bit more to look at, so I'm gonna start off going with the Why Not 5. As for cushioning, I mean, both of these shoes are gonna be pretty soft. They're not bad to play in, but you do get a softer feel to the Why Not 5s, even if it's just by a little bit, so I'm gonna stay with Russ's line. As for the materials, the Jordan Zoom Separate's gonna get some just basic textiles across the upper. I'm not really sold on how they're gonna hold up over time, but the Why Not 5s, they do have some extra pieces kind of going into this model that just do feel a little bit better quality so i'm going to stay here once again but as for the support i mean both they check out for both of these shoes the ankle stability is really great thanks to that heel counter on both of these models and there's just no issues on the upper so i am going to just stick with a tie for that section but to finish off with traction the jordan zoom separate is going to have better grip to take that section i mean the why not fives they're still just a little bit too inconsistent so for me i am actually going to side with the jordan zoom separate as the better basketball shoe to hoop in there are clearly some things to like about both of these shoes, but basically I guess my reasoning behind choosing the Jordan Zoom Separate is because of the traction. Like, because the cushion is already, I mean, it's pretty close with that four foot Zoom Air unit. It's not far behind the Why Not 5s. And you're also going to have a lower retail price on the Zoom Separate that I do kind of factor in there too. And I do like the look better for the Why Not 5s, but the traction isn't normally something I play around with or just like to overlook in general. So that is part of why Russ's line that I'm just, I'm just not big on that aspect of it yet, but everything about his shoe other than that plays nice. Thank you guys for taking some time to watch. If you want to buy the Jordan Zoom Separate, just click the link on screen or we have links for both shoes in our bio if you want to check that out. But until next review, I'm Landon from Shoewear. Peace.